A big talker story this morning. The Food and Drug Administration banning red dye number three. The dye gives a cherry red color to the food. So what foods actually have this food dye? I know that's the question that a lot of people are asking themselves this morning. Our Patty Santos going to try and uh, give us more details here. She went to a nearby store, hey. the TV station, <laughs> so she can actually find some of these items. Patty, what do you know so far? You know, you guys sent me on a scavenger hunt with very few leads, but so far, a lot of the stuff that I found, like anybody that likes uh, red hot flaming Cheetos like myself, a lot of this stuff has red 40 in it. And we're looking for the specific FDA thing that's been banned as uh, red uh, three. Now, uh, a lot of it is in things that you eat, everyday stuff that you eat, like toppings for cakes and frosting and sprinkles and gum candy. Uh, popular foods like Doritos and uh, Hot Cheetos, like I said, they have number 40, which is uh, still regulated by the FDA, but um, also those of you who are big fans of uh, Big Red, that is also, that uses Red 40. So you're in the clear there. Uh, although there are some concerns about Red 40 causing some behavioral issues, the FDA has not made any decisions on that yet, uh, which is why, why is Red 3? What's, what's the big deal about it? More than a decade ago, a study found that it was, uh, it was found to cause cancer in some rats and it was banned in some cosmetic products and it looks like now a lot of the uh, food products are now switching over to red 40. Uh, there are other natural ways to give a uh, food coloring uh, the, the the red color which is like using beets or radish or even like insects if you didn't know that <laughs> some stuff uses insects to give it that red color. Um, so the manufacturers have about two years to change the product over from uh, Red 3 to something else. But the good news is that I have looked, I mean, I've looked throughout the store. Anything that you think has red, uh, a red tint to it, nothing that I've found so far has Red 3. So that's the good news there. But the, uh, the, the message is still out. We still don't know what's going to happen to the Red 40, which could really change the flavor. I don't know. It could have changed the flavor on some of our favorite takis or the uh, hot flaming Cheetos. We'll find out. We'll send it back to you. So we usually go to weather, but first we want to check out something else that's been a, on a lot of people's minds, and that is the Food and Drug Administration, which is banning red dye number three. Yeah, we were talking about this a lot even before our shows today. So the dye gives a cherry red color to the food. So what foods actually have this dye, and how does this affect some of your favorite treats? Our very own Patty Santos checked out a nearby store. is raiding our break room right now with the answer. Patty, what can you tell us? What you've been snacking on today? <laughs> well, according to Newsweek, things like Jelly Belly, sprinkles, maybe even some gums have red three on them. Now, I went to the store and I also looked here. Our producers looked through the entire area here of our snacks, including our drink selection. They did not find any red three. They didn't find a lot of red 40, though. But take a look. We were inside a store just a few hours ago. I know you came to us to me at the 530 hit. We were at a nearby store checking to all the foods that we could find, everything that was bright red color, chip soda. Uh, we looked through all of that. Nothing. No red three. Popular foods like Doritos and Flaming Hot Cheetos have red dye number 40, which is still regulated by the FDA. And if you're a fan of the Texas-based soda, Big Red, that also uses red 40. Although there are some concerns that red 40 causes behavioral issues, the FDA has not yet made a decision on that. So why is red three being banned? A study back in the 80s, all right guys, that's a long time ago, found that it caused cancer in rats and it was banned in cosmetic products about a decade ago. So now we are gonna see that also banned in the food products. Some of you have commented on our social media story and one person saying on Facebook, about time. Another person saying, yes, 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 yes. Let's keep going. Don't stop there. And of course, you can leave your uh, comments on there as well. We'd love to read them. The food manufacturers have about two years to change out the ingredients so that it does not have red three on it. But again, we will see if maybe red 40 is the next to go because everything that you see behind me here has red 40. Personally, 
I don't like red 40. I like to keep that away from my kids because I see it change. I know a lot of people think I'm crazy, but you, if you're a parent and you know your kid, you know what they act like when they eat certain foods and whenever I give them something red, they get crazy. So. Well, that's, that's all we found from here. I did find a snack. This has red 40, so I'm not giving it to my kids, but I might. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> hey, I love Thanks. that honesty, Patty. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Patty would know, too, for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely doing some uh, research on the fly there. Thank you very much uh -huh. uh, for that, Patty. And uh, she mentioned, obviously, a lot of South Texas favorites there. The Big Red, yeah. the Red Hot, the, the Flaming Cheetos. I was just going to say, thank God the Hot Cheetos, Cheetos ain't on that list. I, I can yeah. kill a bag of Hot Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're good, but they're not really good for you. Okay, so come we'll on. Don't happens. put me out there like that. Okay.